Level 7, Lesson 3, Future Simple versus Future Continuous. Intro, Future Simple. The Future Simple tense in English has two common forms, will and going to. Most of the time, you can use either one, but it may change the meaning. Both refer to a specific time in the future and most often something factual. You use will with voluntary actions, promises. You use going to with plans. You use will or going to with predictions. Future continuous. The future continuous is used to talk about an action or event that is not yet finished but will be in progress sometime in the future. It has several purposes. It is often used to talk about future proje projections. Example, by this time next week, I will be relaxing on a beach. Predict or guess about future events. Example, you'll be missing this food when you move abroad. Ask politely for information about the future. Example, will you be going to the party tonight? And it is also used to refer to ongoing events we expect will happen. Example, since she is a French major, she will be studying abroad in Paris for a semester. Refer to events that will be still be happening at some point in the future. Example, in an hour, I'll still be cleaning the bathroom. Future simple. The simple future has two forms. Will plus verb. M is R plus going to plus verb. Will. I will wash the car on Sunday. I will text you when I get home. This winter there won't be much snow, but there will be plenty of rain. Going to. Next weekend we are going to dinner. Next weekend we are going to go to dinner and then a concert. She's going to be thirsty after she runs the marathon. What are we going to eat for lunch? Note. Native English speakers often pronounce going to like gonna. For example, instead of saying we're going to go to the store, they might say we're gonna go to the store. Future continuous. The future continuous is formed as in this way. Simple future plus present participle, subject subject pronoun plus will going to plus be plus verb plus ing plus complement. A subject is a noun, a person, place, thing, or idea, or a pronoun, I, you, he, she, it, we, or they. To be is an auxiliary or helping verb. Positive. Subject, I will be waiting excitedly for the new movie to be released. You, we, they will be waiting excitedly for the new movie to be released. He, she, it will be waiting excitedly for the new movie to be released. To make a sentence negative, add not to the verb to be. Negative. Subject pronoun plus will not plus be. I will not be, I won't be, eating much while in the hospital. You, we, they will not be, you, we, they won't be, eating much while in the hospital. He, she, it will not be, he, she, it won't be, eating much while in the hospital. To ask a question in the present continuous, change the order of the verb to be and the subject. To be plus subject plus present participle plus complement. Questions. Will I be spending any time in Rome? Will you, we, they be spending any time in Rome? Will he, she, it be spending any time in Rome? We'll, we will be flying to Europe on June 30th. We will travel to Europe soon. He will be continuing his education at another university. He will get a doctorate degree. I will be waiting for you. Will you wait for me? You will be feeling exhausted after all of that housework. Won't you be tired after cleaning all day? They won't be talking for a while. They'll make up soon enough. They won't be talking for a while. They'll make up soon though. 